Hey guys, good morning. It's your girl Secretly. I'm coming to you with Strawberry Letter. So, today's Strawberry Letter, it was so funky because I'm, I packed lunch and of course I started eating it. Now I have mustard on my pants. Anyway, I forgot to share that with y'all because that's my struggle right now. But, today's strawberry letter um oh this lady is dating a guy who is 11 years younger than her she's the one who wrote the letter and my girl said they was dating for 11 years when they first started dating um she had two kids already she never said how old she was um and you know her and the guy always discuss having kids he said you know he always wanted to have children of his own this that and third excuse me so fast forward 11 years she can't have kids anymore he cheats on her she says multiple times um and then she's like oh i didn't think he would cheat on me multiple times and it's like okay do you think he would cheat on you once but she said that she always figured that women his age would grab his attention eventually. And here we are. So apparently she found text in his phone. Don't we always? And she decides to hit up the woman that he's texting. The woman tells him that she just had a baby. And the baby is four days old. And the guy is like, oh, you know, I, I want to wait until I can get a paternity test from both of them. I know who both of them are because it's just the baby, but I guess the mother has to consent. Fast forward, we find out that the baby is his. Yes, guys, we knew it. The baby's his. I don't know why he pulled that paternity test. Not just like he didn't know he was raw dogging the chick on the side. Anyway. The baby's his, and she's saying that he's trying to reassure her that, um, you know, it doesn't change anything. They still have their bond. And she's talking about, oh, now I have to find a way to fit this baby into our family. And Steve is like, what family? I mean, I get it, but this is the mistake that we made. We date people forever and a day, right? And all of a sudden, you become an Insta family. And the Insta family could happen very early on. Not necessarily happens after dating forever in a day. Sometimes you could date for like three or six months and now you're an Insta family. You know what I mean? So you kind of get stuck into like, oh, it's like we're already married. No, it's not. You've been with this man 11 years. 11 years, you didn't think to get married. You didn't want to get married. You uh, planned to have a baby with him. You never had the baby. I don't know if that was on you or on him, but it, it's, it's a little weird. Especially since you're going to be concerned now about having a baby or not having a baby. What is this lady doing? about having a baby or not having a baby then it's like um the baby ain't going nowhere but now it's like you're oh i know that the bond he's gonna have with this baby is not gonna be the same it's gonna be more than our bond first of all it's not the same a bond with someone and their child you cannot compare to a relationship bond and that's the problem that a lot of you women have you want to compare and compete with men and their children like that's weird as hell okay anyway so that's her concern and she's like oh how do i fit this baby into our family man why are you still there i don't understand like why are you still there because he cheated on you multiple times he went and had a whole baby on you and i guess now you feel like you have to accept the baby because you can't have babies anymore as you say so we're gonna assume you're like late 40s early 50s something like that do you feel like you can't get somebody your own age or you can't get somebody else i mean i get 11 years is a long time trust me i do but it seems like this is just signing up for misery i see this being a very miserable ass situation i don't see anybody being happy here i see you being jealous of this child comparing yourself to this child competing with this child who's four days old at this point so 
it's only going to get worse. Like, you can't do much with a four-day-old, but as the baby gets older and gets to know his father, as he should, and gets clingy and starts wanting to be around and all this good stuff, and you're not going to like it. It's going to be a constant reminder that he cheated on you and somebody else gave him the thing that you couldn't or didn't give him. And it's going to be up in your face all day, every day. I don't think that's a good idea. Personally, I feel like you should just cut your losses and keep it moving. Because clearly he don't respect you. He don't respect your relationship. I don't care how much coddling and reassuring he tries to do now that the baby is already here. Unless that was just his plan. He just wanted to have a baby because you didn't give him one. But still, no. Um, yeah. What y'all think? Because for me, it's a no. It's going to be a hell no and a goodbye. See you later. Or not even see you later. Just a goodbye. But let me know what y'all think.